Yeah. Yep. Yep. Back at it again. Once again, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's all. Because it don't stop. It's I all good. You know? Why would it ever stop? Yeah, we always going in. Roller on the mic, you know it's a dividend. Uh, Cause you know we getting money, so cut me the check. And you know I'm a just put on for everybody that I love. So you know that I got Derek on the board, so he gon' drop the beat one time. So mic check, one, two, one, two. I'm just all up in the booth, and you know that I'm doing what I like to. Yeah, and that's killing on the beat, fool. Uh, and it's just off the top. Yeah, you should see me when I got the pen to pad, and I'm feeling inspired mm, it's something that's unstoppable uh it's something that's unmovable yeah but anyway that's just how i do i just came to kill it yeah get to the top and i got the crew so if you want to come you can come holla at us but you better come holla at us correctly because we ain't got time for that bs nah we ain't got time for that bs nah yeah we just come in correct legit yeah, we come to get this money, we came to get this loot and do what it do, do what it does, you know, I'm just here with my bros, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just here with my bros and everybody who was down from day one, I wanna thank ya, it ain't nothing but love, uh, everybody who was down from day one, I, I wanna thank ya, it ain't nothing but love, you know, yep, that's how it should be, nothing but, you yeah. know what I mean, build each other up, don't, Try to tear each other down. No, no. There's, there's more than enough room for everybody to get the limelight. Yeah. So like, yeah. 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 You know, it can be shared. Yeah. You know, I think that's what you're saying. You know. Mm-hmm. And taking it back to episode one, I see you've. Uh, I think it was episode one that we talked about. One or two, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah. Somebody check that back for us. But, so you've got some fresh coconut water here, yeah? You tell me. Indeed, indeed. Let's see what's going on here. Yep. Go Whiff. ahead, bro. Take your first sip. Hmm. How, mm. hmm. How you like it? I'm, I'm not disliking it. Oh. That wasn't too bad. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Hold Maybe up. you got the good brand of coconut water. Let me see, though. Let me make sure. Okay. It's nice. Okay. It's nice. Well, we've got a coconut water drinker here. We seems. have a dispute. Okay. <laughs> a dispute has arisen. <laughs> <laughs> well, a little debate here on the subject. So, Indeed. So what do you like about it? It's like a, it's like a flavor... Like you know how you know how something is sweet sometimes or something is sour and it feels a certain way yeah. when you drink it or whatever. Mm-hmm. That feels sweet and pleasant to drink, okay. but it doesn't have a th- super thick ass noticeable flavor right now. Mm. So that's that's good because okay. because normally I'm not like the biggest fan of coconut, mm-hmm. you know. But maybe that's because of, like the texture of it or something. Yeah, it's sometimes the texture, it's not the taste. And weird, for me. you know. Yeah, but that's pretty nice. Yeah. Okay. It's pretty nice to me right now. Well, like I said, the coconut water I tried tasted like it was just in somebody else's mouth already. And I was <laughs> like, nah, it's not for me. You know, mm-hmm. and I would need to try it one more time just to be sure. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I also had it out of a bottle, not out of a can. Maybe that makes a difference hey. as well. Well, that might even make it better, right? Mm. Isn't that what they usually say? True. Glass bottle over plastic bottle any day. Yeah, or a yep. can or something. Mm-hmm. I guess depending on what it is. Yeah. Some things are better. Yeah. Also, things taste really good out of a glass, like a especially like a made for that glass drink, made for that drink glass. Like, what do you? Oh, like like a certain like Guinness or something has like yeah, a certain cup. Yeah. Like Guinness has like a certain type of cup. Certain IPAs have certain types of cups. Lagers have certain kinds of cups. Yeah. You know, you, you want got the your foam on the top to be perfect. Yeah. And only that way. Yep. Yeah. With your wine glasses, and the wine glasses even come in like different depths. If you get like red wine, white wine, sweet, dry, it's just like it's a whole thing. It's a whole lot you got to learn about like oh, alcohols, dude. dude. It's like that. It's almost like anything. You know? Yeah. Somebody's a sneakerhead. You got to know what 
type of stitching is on this shoe from 18 right? years ago as opposed how, to the replicas and shit. Right. How can you tell if your shoe is really authentic? <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah. I don't know. I just look at it and if it looks like I want it to. It's like, it looked good, so I bought it. Mm. You didn't know you bought Jordan 4s? Okay. Mm. You just thought they looked good? Okay. Yeah, that's about it. Jordan 4s. You just thought they... Yes, I thought they looked good. They're a good looking pair what of shoes. What is it about the 4s to you right now? Yes. Yeah, like, why are you so hung up on the details, they are bro? Shoes, dude. Just be happy. I got the shoes. If you're such a sneakerhead, Jesus Christ. I wanted to wear them, so I bought them so I could. Yeah. So get off of me. Yeah. Oh. You mad because I'm creasing them? Is that it? That's it's called they're, walking. They're made in such a way that that's eventually going to happen, no matter what. Yeah. Should I just buy them to look at them every day when I, I walk say, by them? Better than leaving them in a box all day. Yeah, all day, every single day. Yeah. You have like 89 pairs of shoes. It would be cool to have 89 pairs of shoes, especially if you like them all and they're yeah. all nice. You just rotate them out. Yeah. Got a pair of shoes for every outfit. Every outfit. You have 89 outfits. There's a lot of outfits. Yeah. I did have something like that uh, low key. It wasn't like 89 pairs of shoes, but it was like, <laughs> like it was yeah, like 1920. Okay. It was an absurd amount of shoes. I think I talked about this already, but like my aunt sent up a bunch of shoes when I was like 12, 13. Yeah. Kicked off the shoe obsession. Like, shoes in every color. Like, gray, white, black, green, yellow, orange, blue. <laughs> yeah. The whole red palette. Yeah. Yeah, I just recently got into more liking. Like, I've always liked shoes. Mm-hmm. But like, not really giving a fuck whether I bought them at any given time or not. Mm-hmm. But now it's like, well, you know, I can kind of see why. If that ran out, it would suck. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Certain things you just can't get that you know you would want now. Yeah. It's too late, though. And then, like, yeah. if you can get it, it's, like, a $1, thousand, two thousand dollars because yeah. they only made, like, 25 copies. Or, like, some dude's, like, selling it on eBay for 10 stacks because the bid just keeps going up. It's like, you know what? It's, hey, it's not worth I'm it at that point. Out. I'm tapping out of this My one. bank account says no because 10 stacks can buy me so many other things than just a pair of shoes. Yes. And this shoe... Just isn't worth that to me. I was like, right take now. that ten stacks, use it for a down payment on a car. Have a low car payment. Oh yeah, especially if you get dude. That's some cars that could be like almost half. True. You know, like good cars. Yeah. For say, get a nice used twenty thousand dollar car. Yeah. yeah. Even a new twenty thousand dollar car. True. Whatever that would be. Yeah. Might not be the same thing, but. Yeah, a new twenty thousand dollar car probably a lot better than a used twenty thousand dollar car. Let's be real. Yeah, I mean, I would rather have one than the other. You yeah. could probably guess which one. Indeed, same. You, you yeah. Know? <laughs> Especially for 20K. Dude, just dropping it real quick. Might as well have stole it at that point. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Especially if it's that year of, like, we got a 2021 for 20K. It's like, oh, shit. Sh- All right. Flat, huh? Where do I sign? I'll take that. Just drop a duffel bag. Just, Here you fucking go. 20 stacks right there. Oh, shit. They're like, all right, here's the okay. keys. After you sign this and this and this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh, but taking it back to uh, sh- drinks, shoes, and colors, uh, what, just based off of color, you don't know what kind of drink you're getting, but based off of color, what color drink usually never disappoints? Hmm. Usually blue. Blue. That's you a know, good. That's a good. You color. can usually always kind of anticipate what a blue drink is going to taste blue like. Solid blue raspberry. Yep. Yeah, something yep. like that. See, for me, it's pink. Yeah, pink. It's almost like Starburst though, because you have pink Starburst, or the regular original Starburst, is the best one in my opinion. Yes. But then you get, that's the top of the line Starburst in my in my in my life, right? Absolutely. But then you get a pink one out of another pack, and it's like ugh. Mm. sometimes I've or less than favorable in- like you could still eat it but you wouldn't necessarily have wanted that one if like if there was a bowl of nothing but pink starburst and you, you didn't know that some of them were different pinks yeah you picked one out you would be like oh you got like regular pink tropical pink the wild berry pink the- <laughs> yeah yeah you don't know which <laughs> yeah. one it is yeah, yeah. would you be disappointed if it was one flavor or another no i've never been disappointed in anything like usually pink yeah like there are a lot of pink candies pink drinks like strawberry like pink cakes you know oh dude yeah strawberry cake is good yeah yeah i am slightly disappointed in strawberry ice cream only because i don't like the actual like it's hit or miss man. In it. it's hit or miss like if you just have straight up yeah 
Like if you took vanilla but you made it pink and it tasted like that. Yeah, the vanilla with the strawberry syrup. No, yeah. just like the straight up strawberry, mm-hmm. but like vanilla style, no shit in it too. Uh, yes. You know that's a, that's what's pretty good. That Here's, would be chef's that, kiss. That usually comes in uh, like the Neapolitan big like gallon tubs or two yeah. gallon tubs from like Piggly Wiggly and shit. The yeah. uh, vanilla in the middle, chocolate and strawberry on the sides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like I'm gonna have to eat all three. Yeah, so. fuck it, dude. Although most of the time I would probably get through chocolate before anything else. Mm-mm. Honestly, it'd be vanilla and strawberry. I, I would buy it because there's a fuckload of ice cream. I'd mm-hmm. eat all the chocolate first, then be pissed, and have to eat the rest or whatever. <sighs> I guess I'll finish it, man. And then you're just mad you didn't get a tub of chocolate ice cream. <laughs> yeah, it's like can't they just make straight chocolate? It's like they do. You just didn't buy it. Like, oh, yeah, just right. not just not at just not at the commissary though. They only sell that at. The Dollar Tree mm. across town for some reason. Of course, of course. It's you know, place. Dollar Tree got the monopoly on the fucking sh- chocolate ice cream. You know what? Mm-hmm. What can you do? Give it to them. Yeah. Yeah, just give it to them. They you can have it. chocolate covered gummy bears? Uh, yeah, I think so because they have uh, a Golden Corral. You know, eventually they started getting that chocolate fountain. Yeah. I used to always get the cookies on the stick. Mm-hmm. We'll dunk it with that shit. That's mm-hmm. all I me. Mean, can't go wrong with that, in my opinion. Okay. And then yeah, I always used to get gummy bears, and uh, like a, a ice cream cone. Ah, uh, okay, okay. And if not an ice cream cone, then I would get like the double chocolate cookies. Mm-hmm. Because those always hit too. And just dunk them in the chocolate. So triple chocolate uh, cookies for you. Oh, I'd never done that, but I wish I'd like to now. Oh. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right now. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't think of it then. Damn. Um. But yeah, I put some fucking. Chocolate fountain on some gummy bears before. Yeah, it's not too bad. Okay. Yeah, if I remember well, correctly. See, because Dollar Tree sells chocolate covered gummy bears. I never had it like that, though. Yeah. I never had it like, like that. Like just out the pack. It's probably better. Yeah, it's definitely more convenient. What if you could all. take, what if you could take a, like a bowl of gummy bears mm-hmm. and then spray, like what, what kind of chocolate, like Hershey's special uh, syrup or whatever? Actually, if I could spray any kind of chocolate on some shit. I'm probably going like foreign chocolate, like Dutch chocolate. Mm-hmm. On some gummy bears in a bowl. Yeah. And you're going to toss it like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Toss it like chicken wings. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Dude, me and uh, me and my friend Mike used to always go for the uh, like the Godiva that they had. Oh, Godiva's good chocolate. Yeah, they had that. And their, their dark chocolate is pretty slapping too, especially the, like the little three or four packs, whatever, come at like Dillard's and shit. Mm-hmm. You know, because we would always just go to those places because they were the only ones that had that. Yeah. That's the only reason we went there and shit. Okay. Well, bringing it back to the Dutch chocolate, the best kind of chocolate I had was actually a foreign chocolate. I don't think it was Dutch, uh, but it was definitely foreign because like I bit into it and you could see like the air pockets like still in the chocolate that mm-hmm. made it so light and airy and yeah. stuff. And I was like, oh, shit. I was like, how are we lacking in fucking chocolate? You know what else is pretty good? Yeah. Um, Pocky. Pocky's pretty good sometimes. You oh, yeah. That? The little, like, Japanese sticks, like yeah, strawberry chocolate. chocolate sticks and shit. Yeah. yeah. Those are pretty damn good, First too. time I had those was, like, seventh grade. Yeah. Because, funny, we had to do, like, a, um, a cultural project, so everybody picked a different culture, and... Uh, did everybody pick a different culture, or did we all have to different? We all had to pick a different aspect of. Uh, I think it was Japanese culture. So like somebody talked about sushi, I talked about samurai uh, swords, and uh, yeah, it was cool as hell. <laughs> so and, the, the one dude brought up Baki. <laughs> yeah, like and so you had to like bring what you talked about because uh, I was uh, living with my aunt and uncle at the time, and uh, they had a set of katanas. So I was like, oh. I'm going to take those into class and, like, demonstrate the swords and stuff. And so, like, the girl who talked about sushi, she brought in sushi rolls for the class. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, somebody talked about, like, uh, chicken, fried rice and all that. So, they brought in food for the class. The dude who talked about pokey brought in pokey for the class. It was like, oh, like, we right. really out here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> those are the experiments you really like in class. Yeah, no shit. Hell yeah. Never had one quite that good. It reminds me of... uh me seeing these memes recently where they're talking about like they hype you up all year for the end of the end of the class pizza party yeah and then you get like an eighth of an inch wide <laughs> <laughs> you can't even get two slices yeah you can't even get two yeah nope it's one small cheese pizza yep <laughs> one eight ounce cup of 
whatever juice, juice they decided bullshit. to get you that <laughs> yeah. day. And it's never the good juice. It's always like the off-brand generic. <laughs> <laughs> it's never one you want right nope. then. Same thing with the chips. They they give you like just just a handful. It's like, okay. Thanks. I guess. You could spend $8 yep. and, you know, hook it up a little bit more. Mm-hmm. That shit's funny. Man, Man that's like the uh, before... Uh, end of exam breakfasts they used to, air quotes breakfasts they used to give you if you didn't go to the cafeteria because they would just hand you like a granola bar or like a cereal bar or some juice or like an apple and just, or like a banana be like here you go eat this <laughs> it's like, okay. okay yeah appreciate it I guess I mean I Not guess it'll get whatever, the, but... the brain going but yeah. if you say so I would have preferred some granola you know, yeah some, some all the granola bars were taken at that point it's like how about some actual like hot food like some, yeah, like some grits. Grits fucking slap. Yeah. yeah. Grits are pretty damn good. Yeah. Just got to make them right. You know, they're not all created equal, but mm-hmm. they can't be too watery and they can't be like fucking mortar. They, you know what I'm saying? Like you can lay bricks in that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like right if, in between. If you can see the top layer of your grits solidify, no. Nah. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about too, and don't then you, you? You break the top of it, and then you can see like the fucking yeah, the liquid underneath. It's like a soup film. Yeah, yeah. It's like how did? Like, damn. Okay. Uh, this is how you like them, huh? Yep. All right. Cheese grits all the way though. Yeah, every time. Yeah. Every time. Yep. I used to like sugar grits as a kid, but I grew out of that. I, I think the first time I heard about cheese grits, actually, because I was like, huh, I never thought about that. You know, cheese. You know what you gotta put in grits, though, hmm. in my opinion, more often than not, rather maybe not every time, hot sauce. I've never had grits with hot sauce. Put some hot sauce on some grits sometime, man. Okay. Whatever your favorite one is, try that shit. Okay, okay. It's pretty damn good. How do you feel about a syrup on eggs? Um, I mean it's it's whatever. I never tried it. Okay. I usually reserve the syrup for pancakes waffles you know what i'm saying the usual mm-hmm. type of shit you know the bacon obviously the residual put some syrup bacon on there yeah, yeah you yeah. can scoop some syrup up with some bacon oh yeah if you can stand to save your bacon till the end i usually do just because it's like my favorite part so it's like yeah i'm gonna save the best for last why, why wouldn't i do that some fresh ass crispy thick cut bacon mm-hmm. i go for some of that right now some maple bacon at that hey damn maple right. bacon is king bacon damn right Slapped out on anything. Mm-hmm. Literally. I'd eat it. You know? Hey. Shoot. Bacon on a sandwich is always good. A bacon sandwich is just good. You know what is also pretty good that I go for right now? Hmm. If not soon. A BLT. Mmm. I've never been a fan of BLTs just because I'm, I'm not a big fan of tomatoes. Yeah. Yeah. You got to get... I like the ones. I like it when the tomatoes on those, instead of being like regular burger tomatoes, mm-hmm. they're like kind of not super thin, but they're like the different kind of tomatoes that are super wide. Mm, you know, okay, so like okay. one is like the whole slice. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty nice. The tomato is is like bread sized. Yeah, just so they about, don't hit you with yeah. like two, three slices of tomato on the sandwich. Yeah, so you got one piece of that. You got a little bit of extra mayo. Mm-hmm. You know, garlic butter, toasted bread, and shit like that. And mm-hmm. then fucking, let's just say, five sla- five pieces of bacon at least. Okay. At least. I'm with that. I'm with that. That's a BLT. Somebody was having a, a good day a when they thought of the BLT. But like maybe three pieces of leaf lettuce, you know, like. Yeah. Instead of a shitload of like salad mix. Yeah, or like shredded lettuce. Yeah, yeah. Just give me some. Yeah. Just give me some leaf lettuce. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Maybe three of them. Can you substitute spinach on a BLT? Does it work like that? Well, oh, would it be a, it'd still be a BST? Be a BST. Mm, okay. Okay. I never tried a BST. I mean, it sounds all right, but I'd, I think I'd rather have a cooked spinach on that one, like a mm. wilted spinach. You know. Okay. I could see that. That'd be pretty good. Cook it in the bacon grease. The uh, the spinach. The spinach. Yeah. Yeah, you could. As long as it's not a whole lot, because then you'll start soaking it Yeah, up, I was about to say, like then it'll just be... Bacon grease. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't need mayonnaise anymore. You nah. just fucking have nothing but... You have extra bacon grease. Just lard all on that sandwich. <laughs> yeah. Don't let it get cold, because you won't want to eat it anymore. Uh, from the way nah, it looks. Not even a little bit. <laughs> yeah. You'll be mad at yourself. <laughs> eat it right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, uh... Speaking of spinach, have you ever had the uh, CC's uh, spinach pizza? Mm-mm. 
It's one of the better pizzas. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. Every time I go to CC's, I check. Yeah, you know, I check the line out. Mm-hmm. See what they got on the uh already ready because usually I'm fucking starving when I go there. Mm-hmm. But I always put in like a special order for like a flag of like a half mac and cheese pizza. The mac and cheese pizza is legit. I fucks with that. When pizza. it comes straight out, mm-hmm. it's like damn, you know, okay. pretty fucking good. Yeah, yeah. But uh, and always a half pepperoni. Because you can't trust the pepperoni that's been there unless... I mean, you can look at it and see sometimes. Yeah. But... Oh, uh, this has been sitting... Sit. But then again, pepperoni usually always goes so fast because that's just universal, the most universal accepted pizza topping. I mean, it's it's damn good, yeah. if you ask me. It's my favorite. Pizza. Pepperoni. It's got... P- pizza has to have at least pepperoni on it, in my opinion. Yeah. See, I'm a Supreme Pizza guy. I love Supreme Pizza. So, Supreme at least every time, in your opinion? Yeah. Hell well, yeah. I have like three tiers of pizza that I that I get. So Supreme is number one. Number two is like pepperoni, bacon, and mushrooms. Uh-huh. Number three is like a oh, white Alfredo sauce, uh, chicken, bacon, mushroom. Yeah. That sounds pretty good. You should yeah. try it sometime. I either like, all, I mean, at least pepperoni, obviously. Yeah. It has to, pizza has to have pepperoni on it. Mm-hmm. So usually a fuckload of pepperoni as much as possible. You, you put extra in the order on Domino's or wherever you go, mm-hmm. and you hope that their interpretation is at least somewhat right. similar to yours. Extra is, oh, it's olives cover in this pizza, or mushrooms cover in this pizza. <laughs> yeah. Nothing but fucking three layers of mushrooms like shingles. And right. Then, there's not a single piece of cheese protruding from the pepperoni layer. That they, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, they overlapped the pepperoni like, on this one. Okay. Hmm. Hey. Sometimes they get kind of lazy whenever you go for Domino's. Yeah. Because they have like, they put a fuckload of pepperoni on it, which I'm thankful for. Mm-hmm. But sometimes you get like the four or five yeah, pepperoni. Yeah, stacked thick. pepperoni. Yeah. Or like you get the piece of pizza that only has one pepperoni on it and it's like at the crust. And it's like, how did, how did you not distribute this smallest as accordingly? Piece. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay, get your shit together. At, at least, dude, it's not that hard. It can't be that hard to make a pizza because you already know that most of the crusts got to be at least somewhat preformed, right? Would you think? Uh, at a chain? Well, I don't know because I got a, a homeboy who works at Domino's, and uh, there was one point he was throwing dough so much he had like bruises on his wrist from like slapping and shit and I was like oh so you gotta hand toss your dough every time he's like yeah shit mm. gets mad annoying and he's like I bet yeah you gotta really wanna do that yeah I wouldn't nah not every day yeah not all day mm-hmm. yeah not all day every day yeah we did actually bake a uh, pizza in culinary I'm trying to remember how we did the dough I don't know if it was pre-made or if we actually made it. If we let it sit for a couple of days. Like dough from scratch. I wouldn't think that if it was a chain that it would be from scratch. I think it would just be. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Because the pan pizza from Pizza Hut always tastes the same. Yeah. It'll well, I know. Uh, probably Here I go. Giving away the trade secrets again. Whoa. Uh, whoa. Pizza Hut. The night before. Uh, what they do with their crust is like they kind of just lay it out on like bacon racks and just kind of spray it down with like butter or I guess garlic or whatever to keep it moist so it's just like a set it down and then when they order they pull it out top it with what you want cook it and it's good to go oh yeah that makes sense mm-hmm. yeah just a quick that's like prep that's, just, that's exactly what that is yeah yeah and it is essentially bread nonetheless you know yeah whether it's cooked or not I guess is it usually cooked uh that part I don't know. They're just heating it up. Maybe. Hmm. Maybe it's like par cooked, you know, because like, like partially cooked. Yeah. Yeah. Halfway done, you finish baking it when you put the other toppings on it. Yeah, it's like twelve, thirteen minutes through that at that speed at that temperature specific yeah. to Pizza Hut is what does that. Yeah. yeah. That wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. yeah. Sounds about right. Mm-hmm. If that's not what they're doing, they should try it. Hey. Might make their you know. Increase productivity. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Heck yeah. Are you a fan of cheese? Are you a fan of cheese stuffed crust pizza? Hmm. I suppose I could eat it. Mm-hmm. I'm not opposed to it. It is good, but it also does depend on what kind of cheese it is. Mm. 
I feel that. Okay. You know, if it's like artificial cheddar blend product, then no. Nah. But you know, if they got something good in there, like real cheddar, I guess, or yeah, whatever regular pizza cheese mozzarella. Yep. That'd be good. Yeah, um, yeah. But so you bite into it, it extends out of the crust like it does, like you just bit the regular pizza. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Piping hot. Yep. P- but preferably maybe one or two steps below that. Yeah, you don't want to burn the roof of your mouth off. <laughs> yeah, I can't even fucking eat this shit. Not with the crust. You do that with the first bite of pizza, though. <laughs> yeah. Because you're like, ooh, pizza. Oh, fuck, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're just scraping the roof of your mouth because you can feel the skin just hanging down and it starts bubbling up and shit and it yep. starts ripping off the next day yep. you're spitting out fucking skin flaps out of your fucking but you don't spit that pizza out when you're in the <laughs> oh no never nah never, <laughs> never that that's that's sacrilege I was just about to say that that is very <laughs> sacrilegious <laughs> It's like, that's disrespectful. Mm-hmm. That's treason of the highest order. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, you don't spit pizza out, man. Mm-hmm. Let alone, like, spaghetti or some shit. I yeah. guess, you know, if, like, if, if something's too hot, just get it over with. Yeah. Don't spit it out, right? Yeah. Take a sip of your drink, cool it off. You're yeah. all good. Yeah, do something. Yeah. But don't spit out spaghetti, but if the noodle is noticeably too long, you can cut that. You just chew bite that down off. on it. Yeah, you chew that off. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Yep. Spaghetti and meatballs? Or traditional spaghetti? Or is spaghetti and meatballs traditional? What is I traditional that's, spaghetti? I think that's pretty traditional. I think spaghetti and meatballs is pretty traditional. Hmm. So um, when did like the meat sauce mixture company, do you think that also started at the same time? Hmm. I don't know. That's worth what? Yeah, you know, it's worth... <laughs> looking into a the little original bit, you know? spaghetti did spaghetti and meatballs or just regular spaghetti only or meat sauce spaghetti or, or I was about to say regular spaghetti was probably just noodles and tomato sauce if we're being well of course yeah. yeah that is but did that come like did people think to just not use meatballs before they thought to use meatballs hmm. like did they say here's a new dish that I think I created maybe they just got tired of the red sauce and they were like I got to I gotta fucking spruce this up with some shit. <laughs> so what I got around the kitchen? Shit, yeah. Uh, fuck! I got ground beef. Fuck it, make meatballs. What? Put meatballs on the spaghetti, fucking bro. You heard what I said? Fucking that shit into a ball and then cook it in the oven. Yeah. Like okay. That's like the same person who put sausage on spaghetti with the meatballs. They were like, mm, okay, meatballs are good, but it can be better. <laughs> it's missing something. Sausage else. links. Yep. Cut them up. Bratwurst even better. Do it. Cut them up. Here we go. <laughs> slap some fucking sliced bratwurst in that shit too, please. Yeah. That actually probably would slap. So yeah, so or kielbasa or something. Yeah. Ka what? Kielbasa. You never what had is that? that. It's a type mm. of sausage. Oh, it's good, especially on like a like a just a hot dog bun or something. Even you know, okay, pretty good. You can also like uh, butterfly, you know, cut it down the middle and like flatten mm-hmm. it out. That's pretty oh. good that way too. Okay, never had that. Make uh, like borderline fajitas with it or like. Some uh, onions and peppers, cook that Ooh, shit up with okay. it, and then put it in a tortilla or something. Okay, okay. It's pretty damn good. Man. Speaking of peppers and onions, you have you ever had potatoes and onions? Yeah, I'm sure I have. Yeah, like, they're just like pan fried potatoes, onions. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I used to do that all the time. Yeah, yeah, that shit is amazing. It is. That's like one of my favorite dishes. There's two ways to do it, though. You can do it to where they're crispy, mm-hmm. or you can do it where they're like, not obviously borderline mashed potatoes, but like. Yeah, they're they're just mushy. They're, they're soft. They're easy to eat. Yeah. yeah. I prefer crispy, personally. Yeah. I like the crunch. I like the texture. Yeah, I feel like if I'm going to have some potatoes that are crispy like that, I would want it to be because they're fried. Yeah. More than, I mean, pan fried. I mean, you're still frying it. like shallow frying it, I guess. Yeah, pretty much. I'd rather have it deep fried than pan fried. Okay. If I'm going to have like some potatoes out of a pan, I'd probably have them rather than be a little bit more soft. You know? I got you. But I still you. textured, though. Yeah. yeah. Almost like uh, diced or cubed potatoes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel that. I feel that. Potatoes like that are actually really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Put some onions, put some jalapenos in that shit. You know, just whatever, spru- spruce it up. Mm. Just soften it up. Use some chicken broth or something. Okay. I've really never had jalapenos way. with uh, potatoes before. It's pretty good. Okay. I mean, just throw whatever in that shit. Hell yeah. Really. 
Shit, that's like uh, the sandwich that I make. Uh, it's a pretty much a grilled cheese sandwich, but you know, grilled cheese. Uh, but bread, cheese, whatever kind of lunch meat you want. It can be chicken, turkey, ham, bologna, you know. But uh, I also put uh, jelly on one side. Just on one piece of bread. What flavor? Uh, grape, strawberry, apple, peach, whatever you can get your hands on. Whatever kind of jelly you What do like. you go for? Uh, well, we usually only have grape or strawberry. So, one of those two. Yeah, same. Yep. I'm, I'm more of a traditional jelly person. Traditional you know? jelly? Yeah, what would that be? Grape and strawberry. Okay. Like that's the oldest school. You okay. Know you, I mean, you know, I'm not mad at it. You got to respect it. Yeah, I mean, that's that's just what I would... Yeah. Thing, you know. But yeah, you do that, you grill it up, solid sandwich. Almost sounds like a, uh, what's it called? A Monte Cristo. Yeah. With ham and the strawberry jam and cheese yeah. and all that shit. Kind of in that similar vein, yeah. I suppose you could fry an egg, put it on it, really get a. Hey, now you're charging $25 mm. for brunch. Yes, you are. You know <laughs> <laughs> and then if you really want to charge $30, put some bacon on it. That's right. Because <laughs> bacon right. is an automatic $5. Oh, easy. Easy. One slice. Mm-hmm. $5 a fucking slice. Mm-hmm. How do you got it? You better not double that bacon, because that's $15. <laughs> yep. But you just said it was 5 Yeah, but you're getting three pieces of bacon, so 5 10 yeah, 15 $5 a piece, like I just said, so yeah. you're welcome. We'll have that out in a minute. But three to one isn't double. Exactly. What? <laughs> but you want That's it, the hustle we run. It's already on the ticket, so it's too late. Mm-hmm. Can't take it off now. Man. Because I feel like you would never complain about more bacon until you saw the price and it's like, hold up. That'd be the only thing that's holding me back from more bacon ever. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, you already know, like, even at Waffle House, shit comes with, like, enough bacon as Yeah, you see three pieces. But then whenever you put extra bacon on it, it obviously makes it way better, so I want it mm-hmm. that way every time, but it's like, I feel like the prices there fluctuate. Yeah. Every Waffle House is different. Like, yeah, sometimes, sometimes it's a dollar, sometimes it's two dollars, sometimes it's a dollar fifty. Yeah, for whatever it is. Yeah, like, sometimes sometimes the the bill is like eighteen dollars, and sometimes it's like twenty two. Yeah, I'm like what the it's, fuck? Is I the didn't difference? do anything different since the last time I came in here. This is the exact same order. Yeah, every time. Yeah, dude, I used to like it when they had the uh, the jalapeno cheddar biscuits. Oh. Only t- only reason I ever tried it was because I went somewhere one time. I, I was all about bacon, egg, and cheese biscuits from Waffle House for a little while. Mm-hmm. And then they were out of regular biscuits, so they were like, do you want to try the jalapeno cheddar? And Tia was like, yeah, sure, I guess. Okay. For me, because I was like, wash my hands and shit. And I came back out, and I realized that when she told me what the- – I was like, I was kind of pissed a little bit. I was like, I wish I would have known that they were out of fucking regular biscuits. I might have got something <laughs> different, you know? Damn, right? Then- I was like, I had a backup order in mind just in case for this scenario. <laughs> yeah. So it comes out finally. I'm still a little pissed, you know, obviously. Mm-hmm. But then I try it. Mm-hmm. World changed. Okay. It was like that. That was the only way I got it from that point on. And then they discontinued the shit like, like bitches and shit. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Don't you hate that? I do. Yeah. That's yeah, like uh, uh, these Keebler of cookies, the uh, mm. strawberry cream cheese kind. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the base form of that cookie is the uh, fudge stripe cookies. So Oh, yeah. Fudge yeah. stripes are balling, yeah. Hell, yeah. So take fudge stripe, make the actual cookie, a strawberry cookie, and make the uh, chocolate, white chocolate, strawberry cheesecake. Bowl. Yeah. Them yeah, shits yeah, damn. Fucking Sounds delicious. pretty damn good. Dunk that shit in some strawberry jam. Strawberry jam. Like you were saying, we are talking about the jelly earlier. Fucking dunk that shit. I mean, I don't know about strawberry jam. Strawberry milk, though. Strawberry milk or like strawberry syrup. Hell yeah. Just a quick little dip. Just a- Or even maybe a, a decorative drizzle. Ooh. Perhaps. Hell yeah. You know? It'd be pretty good. Absolutely it would. Or for some, cho- or some regular chocolate. For me. Huh. Strawberry cheesecake with chocolate drizzle. Sounds pretty good I don't think I've ever had it like that. Strawberry cheesecake with because uh, strawberry cheesecake is normally just topped with whipped cream every time I get it, yeah. like whipped cream, Cool Whip, it's pretty maybe standard. some strawberry drizzle to accent the actual strawberries if there's fresh strawberries in it. Pretty standard pie topping. Yeah. Whipped cream. Hell yeah. Shit, whipped cream is just good. Like I can just, eat whipped cream just straight out of the fucking bottle. Yeah, the like the spray can and shit. Yeah, the Ready Whip. Yeah, Ready yeah. Whip's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Not all Ready Whips are created equal though. In my opinion, like some of them taste a little bit better than others. Well, there is Ready Whip and like Ready Whip Light 
or like Ready Whip, like No Cow, there's a diet kind of Ready Whip. So you got to really look at the labels. Yeah, but then there's like knockoff Ready Whips, you know. Oh, well, I'm never buying nothing but except Ready Whip. So you're just I, going I, straight I to the source? Know. Yeah. Straight to the source? You know. Well, uh, yeah, nothing wrong with that. When you tap into gold, you got to keep going back to it. Hope That's it right. doesn't, you know, run out. That's right. Yeah. But, you know, Cool Whip is also a good substitute if you don't have Ready Whip. Yeah. It's so much different than you think it would be, though. Yeah. It's almost like a chunk of ice cream on top of your fucking pie. Like, depending on it, if it's bit, frozen yeah. or, or not. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Because yeah. it's like, it's a heavy cream. It's not like a whipped cream. Yeah. 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 Still good, though. Still oh, yeah. phenomenal. It's th- Sometimes the flavor of that is, is the best way to go. Mm-hmm. You just don't always really want to scoop a whole bunch of shit out or whatever. Yeah. Maybe you just like want to a little, call it a day. Yeah. Or like a little dollop, like teaspoon of Ready Whip, just, yep. just right, on the, right in the middle of the pie. Right where it belongs. Yeah. You know? Fucking always like a good uh, pecan pie. Pecan it's pie. One of, my, one of my favorites. It's all right. It's all right. Sweet, I like apple, key lime. Sweet potato is pretty good. Yeah. I think key lime will always be my favorite pie. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, you can have it. Hey, there's something about the citrus, man. Yeah. I like the citrus. Well, citrus is always good. You know, maybe mm-hmm. not. Well, I guess in that case, for me, not always. But mm-hmm. I, I don't, I'm not hating on limes. You know, limes are delicious. Is the key lime different from a regular lime? No, I'm just saying, like, the flavor of lime. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. It's good, you know. You, you, if something's missing something, when you when you make it, maybe try some lime in it. Maybe that yeah. would help. Straight up. Shit, lime is really good on Mexican food. The yeah. Lime juice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Marinate some shit in some lime juice or whatever, too. Lemon lime, always a win flavor combination. Yeah. More citrus. Yeah. It usually t- seems to tend to be better. Mm-hmm. But maybe I wouldn't put orange juice in that mixture as well with the lemon and, and lime with orange yeah. in it. That'd be kind of a little weird. That'd probably huh? be a little weird. I think so. You I mean, think as lime a marinade, and... maybe. But hmm. You think lime and orange would taste weird? Yeah. I think it would taste kind of weird, yeah. Okay. Be like a little too sour. Yeah, the lime probably would definitely override the orange. Yeah. Yeah. I think the sour sour blend is what keeps lemon lime strong. Lemon and orange. Lemon and orange could actually probably not be that bad. Yeah. Because lemon isn't as sour as lime in my opinion. Really? Yeah. I've always but. thought of lime uh, lemon as the one that people would anticipate being stereotypically sour. Yeah. As but opposed to lime. Lemon also has that sweetness to it. Limes don't. Mm-mm. Or maybe I'm just not trying enough limes. Hey, maybe but you need nah. some more lime in your life, man. Hey. But, you know, love doesn't give you limes. They give you lemons. It does. You and turn when it they into do, lemonade. you throw them at pedestrians. That, too. Yeah. Whatever you, whatever you, whatever's most appropriate to do with them at the time. Yeah. You know, I think I could argue. Sometimes you make lemonade. Yeah, every once in a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Every once in a while. The thing that sucks about lemonade, though, a lot of the time, is that, in my experience, it kind of makes my mouth drier than it was to begin with. Yeah. It tastes so good, but then it's like, I should have just got water. Yeah, now I need even, I need that much, I need as much lemonade as water right now, plus mm-hmm. more, mm-hmm. now that I drank that, just just to feel right again. Yeah. And then, water's just magical, because, like, there are moments you're just tired, Drink some water, you spring right up. Just oh, okay. Water's marvelous, man. Yeah. People hate on it. I don't know why. Yeah, I mean, I, I say they're slipping. Yeah, how can you hate water? It's like it's seventy percent of you, bro. And you just need it anyways. Yeah. Might you as know, well just so drink. You might as well just you know, climb that hurdle. Yeah. I think you'd be all right. Tap, bottle, whatever you got to do. Yeah. Some sort of water fountain. Somewhere. Shit. Put it in a flask. Make yourself think it's alcohol. You can do that too. You know, squeeze some lime juice in it, squeeze make it healthier for you. In it. Hell yeah. yeah, put some mio in it. Yeah, mio's mio's pretty damn good too. Yeah, just Shit. those water flavors in general. Propel, fucking uh, crystal light. Crystal light, that's pretty good. Well, one. then again, that makes it into a lemonade. So yeah, does that does that defeat the purpose? Well, it's more of a flavor of lemonade, right? Yeah, because it's just like lemon powder and you shake it up yeah. or stir it up you know depending on if you got a bottle or a pitcher 
yeah, I guess it just depends on kind of how you interpret it. I think it would still be kind of water, but with that flavor, though. I don't think it would turn into lemonade with the powder shit. Yeah, but it does get noticeably sweet. Well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's just whatever is in the powder shit. Yeah, well, sugar, obviously. Yeah. Sugar and whatever flavor you Some get. Some sort of aspartame lemon, or something. Yeah. Depending on if it's like, don't some of them have like no calories or no sugar or whatever too? Probably. That wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. There's always a no-cal variant of everything. Yeah. No-cal, low-cal, diet. Innovation. Yep. Innovation. You know, do what you gotta do to get that money. And keep doing that. Yeah. You're not gonna hate, you know, mm-hmm. honestly. I mean, everybody hates big business, though. Big business, big pharma. Yeah, I mean, those are different beasts, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Especially big pharma. I feel like they just be doing shit. Yeah, a little bit. Mm. You know, wake up, kind of make the decisions they do, and then yeah. that turns into what it does. Put yeah. out a drug, it's like, hey, try this. Side effects, though. All of them. All of these side effects should lead you to this pill. Yeah. That we also make. So take it. It will give you these side effects, but we have the pill for that, too. Yeah. So now, five pills later, you're good. Yeah. And now we got you in a never-ending cycle. Just mm-hmm. Pill popping. Because <laughs> pill popping. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's just call it what it is. <laughs> because the side effects of withdrawing from the last one in the chain or whichever level you're on mm-hmm. are going to be cured by the shit that you stop taking. Yeah. So a side effect of not taking it is that this makes... You know what I'm saying? Like Yeah. It's like, you withdraw from one, so you need this one to stop the withdrawals from that one. But then this one causes these withdrawals, so you need this one to stop the withdrawals from that one. But if you stop taking this one, you're just going to have the withdrawals. So It's going to feel like you're withdrawing from both at the same time, even though you're still taking the one, but you were taking the other, but now you're not anymore. Mm -hmm. So now you feel like you need to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude, pills, man. Yeah. Good old trusty pills, dude. Yeah. Just take them. Pills. Mm -hmm take them trademark you know what i'm saying they're prescribed by your doctor of course yeah all day every day yeah or Got as them often over the as... counter of course that's right yeah i prefer acetaminophen to aspirin though acetaminophen like, yeah it's like a like the type of painkiller that it is mm-hmm. like tylenol is better than aspirin in my opinion okay okay you know what i'm saying i can see that yeah yeah i'd rather have something with that in it as okay. opposed to an nsaid mm. Okay, okay. Not really a a pill taker for anything. Headaches, I don't really take Tylenol like that. Dude, I don't like... I, I There's some headaches that I know that I can not really have to worry too much about and like mm-hmm. make it through. But sometimes I'll have a headache and I'll be like, I'd fuck this. I'm trying to get rid of this shit. I hate headaches, man. I Heck hate yeah. them. Well, I can, let, let me knock on some wood here. Is I don't really get headaches like that. Me either. That's why when I do, I'm like, fuck this. Because that shit sucks, dude. You yeah. Know? Or maybe like one day you wake up kind of with like a weird pain in your neck because you slept wrong or something. Yeah. I hate that. Mm-hmm. Sometimes that gets bad enough. That's you know? I'm like, trash. I'm like, let me take one Or like for whatever reason, your eyes just feel heavy. Like yeah, they're just, just kind of like sitting in the back of the, of the space that they rest in. It's like, what? It's yeah. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, I hate whenever... You wake up and you just do not want to get up. Like, I I like when I don't have to get up, but mm-hmm. I would rather feel when I wake up as though I could just get up. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't. I don't like the feeling of being groggy or sleepy or something. You know, shitty feeling yeah. first thing in the morning. I hate that shit. Dragging yourself out of bed. Just yeah. Uh, you take like thirty extra minutes in bed than you normally yep. would. You just get on your phone. Just put it over your face. Yeah. You're, you're like, not even I doing anything. Be doing this. Yeah. But use that thirty get, minutes and stretch. Get the blood flowing. Yeah, so get productive. straight up. Yeah, make your bed every time. Every, every day. day. Every day. It's so easy. Just get it over with. Yep. It ain't shit. It's not. <laughs> if you can't even do that, then that's bad. Mhm. So, are you a, a morning showerer to get your day started, or are you a night showerer? You well, preferably morning. But, you know, if need be at night also, mm-hmm. you know, okay. but I'm not like super picky, but 
more often than not, definitely in the morning for me. Okay. I get that. Sometimes you do need two showers, but uh, I'm usually a right before bed shower. Oh, really? Yeah. Hell yeah, nothing wrong with that. Mm. Just because that's usually when I throw on my my grease for my beard. I grease my beard up, you know, comb that out, lotion, all that good stuff. Mm-hmm. Plus, it's just relaxing. It is. It is. It is nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like to. I like to get going with though. Usually with the first in the morning. Okay. Wake up. Usual routine. Hit the shower. Good to go. You know, smelling good, feeling good. Hell yeah. What's your stance on cold showers? You ever taken one? Not fully, mm-hmm. but I'm not hating on it. Okay. But sometimes it is pretty nice. Yeah, I've taken cold showers before. They're actually really nice. Very phenomenal. But you can't just like jump in cold. You got a regular temperature and just kind of stand under the water and just slowly ease it to cold. And it's like, let's go. <laughs> it's game time now. Yep. Yeah. Or, you know, you shower regularly. Then like the last five minutes or so, just turn it to cold. Yeah. 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 That's that's what I've done a few times at least. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just to uh, it's like, you know what? Why not? And then you just go further and further and further to the cold, like yeah. to where it's almost about to turn the water off. Yep. You know? Yep. The upside to that is like the bathroom doesn't feel like a sauna when you're drying off. So you, you don't feel like sticky. Yeah. You get out. You can actually see yourself in the mirror. Yeah. Yep. I can't stand super fucking steaming hot ass water. I, I don't want to take a shower in it. I like it sometimes. Like water, water can steam and not be too hot, but like sometimes it's just way too fucking hot I, yeah. I can't do it like the hottest hottest i usually have my water is usually in winter time when like oh, yeah. it needs to be that hot yeah but there are some times where i just have the water hot i get out of the shower i'm just see the steam coming off my skin because that water layer is still there it's like oh shit it's like, that was a <laughs> hot shower <laughs> that's a fucking steam that's a hot one yeah, yeah it really is Hot steam, hot water, hot shower. Shout out Chance the Rapper. I saw this fucking video recently of this dude. He, like, just was working out or something. Mm -hmm. And he was, like, talking. But (laughs) there was steam coming, like, off his fucking head. Really? Yeah, it it, it was was pretty pretty funny looking. Because he's like, yeah, whenever you put the work in or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then he was like, that was, like, the caption or whatever you want to say. And then he was just like talking, you know. It's it pretty funny. Reminded me of a uh, Ghost Rider for some reason. Well, I mean, you know, where there's smoke, there's fire. That's right. Heck yeah. No, I can see that though. He usually does have the flame trail, uh, the smoke trail coming off the flames on his head. Yeah, dude, Ghost Rider just looks intense whenever he's like in that mode. Yeah, I've I've always thought that was pretty cool looking. Like he's definitely somebody you see, and it's like I. I don't want smoke with this man, as a matter of fact. I don't know, like, what... I don't know how to describe this. I don't know where he came from. You got this, bro. <laughs> yeah. Sure. You do you. <laughs> Here you go. You know, don't even worry about it. All good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if it looks like that. Yeah. A dude, a flaming fucking skull. Yep. With a flaming motorcycle. I'd be like, hey, man, can I just... Can I ride that around the block real quick? It's Please. Like, if I sit on this, will I die? Like, yeah. Oh. Hmm. Well, it's I appreciate it. the honesty. It's worth it. Let's get it. It's like, how fast does it go? Oh, as fast as it needs to go. What <laughs> does that mean? It's as fast as it needs to be for any given situation. Yeah. It's just, it always goes fast enough. Mm-hmm. It always, doesn't have a max No matter speed. what. It just always pushes the limit. That's right. And unless it doesn't need to push the limit, then it's just coasting. Yeah. It's just it's just always going as fast as it should. I can go so fast I can ride at the side of buildings. Do with that information what if you want. necessary. You know, it's not always going that fast. You know, we can drive at the side of the building. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And that's what that's what you know gives him that flexibility. That's what gives him that extra level. Yep. You know. So he's also, got, flames are so it. hot. He's living a divot every street he drives down. Yeah, the whole fucking road is burning. Fucking hellfire wheels over here. That's pretty sick. Too. Talk about hot wheels. Yeah. Bidu-doo. <laughs> that was not a good pun. Hey, aren't the best puns the worst puns though? Sometimes. Mm. Well, the best puns I feel are not intended. Yeah. But there is something about a bad pun. Something about a predictable one. 
Yeah. You know. Or like something that you feel like you could have thought of but didn't. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, man, I could have said that. But you and didn't, like, though. Well, why didn't you? Bitch, get on my face. I think it until right now when I heard it. It's like, look, it wasn't even that funny. It'd have been funnier if I'd have said it. Yeah. Hater. Hey, let me do me. Yep. I'm the Same. pun guy. You're the joke guy. Okay? Stay in your lane. Do you. I'll do me. And then we're all good. Mm-hmm. That's just how that works. Mm-hmm. And that's life. Yep. But, man, speaking of life, fucking crazy thing happened at work uh two nights ago so as soon as i get to work first of all this should have been a great night i got to work the restaurant was already closed the uh green slips for step two of the audit were already copied and stuff laid out nice i was like oh shit i could just slide in let me just read my emails slide into this audit like uh touch was already done yeah so like uh, the restaurant's audit, essentially, because we run the restaurant audit before the hotel. So that was done. I was like, oh, we finna be finished early, early tonight. No, mm-hmm. that didn't fucking happen. So this lady comes up to the desk like maybe 11, 15. She's like, hey, I lost my purse at the restaurant. It's not there anymore. Where is it at? It's like, I don't, I don't know. Couldn't tell you. She's like, well, can you help me look for it? And I was like, sure. Do you know where you would have left it at other than the restaurant? And she was like, well, I remember, I think I had it with me when I left the restaurant. And it's like, so you didn't leave it in the restaurant, okay? Mm-hmm. And she was like, I was trying to get to the beach. And that's vaguely all I remember. I remember waving bye to my friend. So we're walking around the resort like two fucking hours trying to find this purse walking all the way to, walking all around the resort we go to the beach where you know the only inlet to the beach really from the hotel and then we walk to the employee parking lot because after walking around the resort and not finding it she's convinced herself that the waitress that was helping her that night took the purse and maybe just like took what she wanted out of the purse and just stashed it in the parking lot and it's like I don't think she'd be dumb enough to do that, but I'll hear me. You, I'll walk with you this quarter mile up the street to the employee parking lot. So we did that. Didn't find anything. Walked back to the hotel. And in the midst of looking for her stuff, this dude, this other dude comes up to the desk. He's like, Hey, uh, there was nobody at the desk, but I dropped a bag off earlier. I saw it back there. So I just picked it up. Cool. And I was like, cool, bro. Have a good night. 20 minutes later, he comes back down and he's like, hey, so my phone wasn't in my bag and I'm a thousand percent sure I put it in my bag. And I was like, are you fucking serious right now? Okay. And so he was like, well, the person I dropped it off to probably took it because that phone is worth two grand. Call her right now. See if she has it. I was like, are you fucking serious, bro? You just lost your phone. We're not thieves, but okay, I'll call her. She didn't pick up because it was fucking one thirty in the morning at this point. Yeah, number she doesn't know. Yeah. Called her like three times. Didn't pick up. I'm steady calling his cell phone because it was on and it was ringing all the way to voicemail. So trying to call it. Obviously, nobody's picking up the line. So he just kind of fucks off, does what he does. The lady comes back and she's like, look, I'm going to just keep looking. Oh, and the lady we're having, as we're walking around, security's scrubbing the cameras because she's like, I'm sure I left the restaurant at this time. I'm I'm sure I passed by this camera. I'm sure I passed by that camera. Security's like, no, she didn't do any of the things that she says she's doing. Uh, She doesn't appear by that camera. She doesn't show up on that other camera. I checked from 9 to 11, so a whole two hours of nothing. So cameras ended up being a dud and he can't access uh the front desk cameras because he needs like the supervisor password and all that to check for the dude's phone because he's adamant that the front desk agent he gave it to just took the phone so you know (laughs) everybody wants to view the camera footage this night i i guess yeah that would tell all yep 
But so, dude, after he fucks off for like his 20 minutes, he comes back to the desk and I'm like, bro, I don't, I don't, you just fucking lost your phone, bro. Okay. We don't have it. Why would we take a phone? First of all, it's locked. We don't know your passcode. Second of all, who will we pawn it off to? Everybody's got a phone that they're probably paying for. Who's going to pay an extra, whatever the fuck number I say for an extra phone? Yeah, losing a phone is a thing that still exists in the world. Yeah. It just so happens that it happened to you. Yeah. So, anyway, I go up to his room. I'm like, look, I'm going to just walk up with you to the room. I'm going to call. Let's see if it's in here. It wasn't in his room. His friend had it. Because his friend was like, oh, I noticed you left it at the bar. So I just picked it up and I forgot to give it back to you. So here you go. So he found his phone, got it back. I'm like, bro, fuck you. Fuck your phone. I don't care that it cost you two grand. First of all, it's too much for a fucking phone. That's a lot. For it, was, uh, uh, it was a flip. Like the, the touchscreen flip phones, you know. Hmm. But still, I'm like... I. That was the first thing he said. First of all, he was like, yeah, I lost my phone. It's a two grand phone. And I was like, I don't care how much your phone costs, bro. And you overpaid for that, first of all. No matter how much that shit costs. But so, you know, he got his phone back. No harm, no foul. And then the lady, she found her bag at like five in the morning. She walks to the desk. She's like, I found it. And I was like, where was it? And she was like, you know, that gate in between the, uh, the lazy river and the actual like outside yeah, she was like, it was literally right there on the ground. And I was like, we walked by that place like four, five times. At least. How do we not <laughs> fucking see that just on the ground? We have flashlights and everything. But she was like, I really appreciate your patience and time and all that. And she was like, I'll be right back. And so she went upstairs. She like hand wrote me a thank you note and like gave me a tip. I was like, oh, you know what? In the end, that appreciate just kind of made that. it all worth it. Yeah. Yeah, shouts out. Yeah. But yeah. Started off as the most annoying night and ended up ended pretty positive. Yeah, ebb and flow. Yep. What can you do? You know? Other than go with it. You gotta go with it. Don't fight the flow. You know, no, no, no. no don't no, fight no, the no. flow, don't it's fight the flow. Big mistake. Big mistake. Mm-hmm. You like won't a, know it immediately. Yeah. It's like a rip current, bro. Don't try to fight the current. Just yeah, fucking yeah. let it carry you out and swim that. Half mile, quarter mile back to shore. Yeah, you're going to be tired, but you're not dead. Yeah, don't even swim, man. Ride the waves back in. Yeah. Especially if you know how to body surf. Yeah. That's a fun That's fun to do. Yeah. I bet it's kind of difficult, though. Body uh, surfing. Like, I know boogie boarding is, like, a thing. And, like, yeah. having a thing that you're floating because of, kind of. Mm-hmm. But, like, just straight stiff arming your whole body into a wave and riding it. seems yeah. sounds a little bit more It's difficult. actually not. Uh, a dude taught us the family how to do it when we went to Hawaii but he pretty much said when you see the wave coming dive underwater and then just it'll carry you back up and that's how you know you're just you're doing it it's like oh it's like okay so it's it's not like how people just kind of like jump into the crest like on the surface and let it push them that three four feet it's an actual like technique to it Uh so I guess in that aspect it would be pretty hard because you I guess you got to catch it right yeah yeah Sounds fun, though. Yeah. I'd be down to try it. It's very it sounds fun. Sounds fun, dude. I caught it, like, a couple times, and I was... And you feel it, too, because, like, it's just, like, a force. It's like, oh, shit. Oh, oh. oh I'm, <laughs> I'm riding this fucking way. Yeah, shit. it's like, oh, this is... Because it's, like, 10, 15 miles an hour. Yeah, at, quickly. Yeah. Yeah, like, it's super fun, man. All the PSI, all the pressure, too. It's like, oh, water is not a fucking joke, bro. Yeah, it makes me wonder what surfing like a ninety foot tall wave would be like. Yeah, like in the middle of the ocean, like a hundred miles out. Yeah, they need jet skis to pull them into them and shit. Yep, or like surfing on a tsunami. Yeah, 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 that'd be pretty cool. You'd be riding that bitch for miles. Yep, Just but I'm pretty sure that's fucking... the last wave you ever ride. It's 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 one of them. Yeah, it's one of them. I was about to say, unless you just dive underneath the water, let it pass. Yeah, it probably if, wouldn't be too difficult to do that. I was about to say, if you even can do that with a tsunami probably just carry you with a crest because there wouldn't be be much of a crest to start getting closer to the shore yeah you know it would just be more like a steady bump Mm -hmm. you'd be like oh oh as 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 the further and further you see it like it's getting out of your vision but then Mm -hmm. you realize that it hasn't changed shapes at all yeah it's just it hasn't none of it's turned into a regular wave it's just a bump 
Yep. Going like 35 miles an hour away. And then it just slowly gets bigger and bigger and bigger as it's coming up. And then it's like, oh, fuck. Holy <laughs> it shit. looks like the ocean opened up a mouth and it's like, I'm finna fucking gobble up this shore. Y'all better fucking have evacuated. Damn right. Taking no prisoners. Some day after tomorrow shit. Mm-hmm. That was a pretty cool movie back in the day. I have to watch it again, though, just to sometime just to see if it's still good. Mm-hmm. I don't think I've seen that all the way through. I got through like. The first story, I was a kid, so it wasn't even my decision to watch. It was just on as we were like out of function. And then, it, you know, as we were leaving, that was that. Hey, this yeah. is what it is. But I remember the like news reporter getting hit by the billboard in the street. Mm-hmm. That's the only th- that in like the. Uh, I guess the main character being scared on a plane. Because I think it started like hailing or there was like really bad turbulence or some shit like that. Dude, turbulence is fucking scary though. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes it's pretty scary. Yep. Especially the out of nowhere turbulence. It's like, but it, oh, and the pilot's like, oh shit, guys, we just ran into some turbulence. Uh, Don't know how long we'll be in it. So uh, refasten your seatbelts. Thank you. When it sounds like the, when it feels like the fucking plane is like falling out of midair. Right. For like five seconds straight. When it feels like you're in the middle of a, God forbid if there's turbulence in a thunderstorm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I remember one time I was flying years and years ago, and I always liked the window seat. Mm-hmm. But I look out to the left, and you could see how we were, like, at the top of the storm clouds. Mm-hmm. And, like, way off in the distance. Like, it was clear sky, and then way off in the distance, big-ass storm clouds. Like, two Damn. or three of them, you know? And you okay. could see the whole thing from the side. And then, like, off in the distance, you could see the lightning. You know Yo. That's pretty okay. cool. I've never seen lightning from the top down. So does it stretch down to the ground from the sky? Well, it's hard to tell. It happens so fast, you know, but mm-hmm. uh, doesn't it supposedly go from the ground to the top to the sky? You're right. Actually, thinking about that, yeah, because I watched the slow-mo video. It's the, uh, I guess, lightning sparks that fall from the sky as they're charging. And then when they get the connection, the lightning strikes up and just follows the circuit all the way up. Through the sparks. Pretty intense, though. Lightning's yeah. one of my favorite things. Yeah. And of that nature, you know? Yep. Especially just watching it. I yeah, love watching, it's like, sick, like heat storms. I love that. Yeah. I love, like, big-ass bolt lightning. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's super intense, yep. man. The kind that wakes you up out of your sleep. Strobe light, LED, for real, for real. Just, <laughs> yeah, oh! Yeah. <laughs> LED strobe lights, yeah. And then you get, like, the fucking A-bomb of thunder right after that. <laughs> yep, yep. But that comes 10 seconds later. Yeah, so sometimes whenever it happens immediately, it's it's it get kind of scary. Yeah, it's like damn. It's like oh, well, I'm shit. in this shit right now. Yeah, ever woken out of your sleep uh, by thunder? We've been out of deep sleep. Maybe I mean, probably, but maybe not like that. Like super heavy. Like oh yeah. oh shit. No, yeah. there have been times like I've been deep in sleep and thunder will crash and I'm like, <gasps> <gasps> and I'm like oh my god, bro. <laughs> No, you can't be doing that, Mother Nature. Calm the fuck down out there. Yeah, come on, give me a little warning. Give me, give me that slight crackle, and then break my eardrums. Yeah, it's like, let me, let me, get prepared. Yeah, give me just a quick second. Let me feel the rumbles through the house, and I'll know. Yeah, you'll you'll be more of the mood of what it what it do, mm-hmm. you know. And that's just what that. Yeah. What that would need to be would be ideal. Yeah. You know, if you could just always have a quick warning before the thunder fucking busts your eardrums. Yep. Or before the lightning strikes. It's like, hey, lightning strike in five, four, three. Two. Oh, we miscounted. That way, it would also be cool if it told you where. Mm. Like, if it were in a visible range. Okay. Like, turn around right now to see lightning in three, two, you just turn around. Oh, shit. Like, hell it's yeah. It's like, hey, move. You're about to get struck by lightning. What? I told you to fucking move, bro. Like, you know what? I'm just going to not move to see what it's like. You know? Nah. Uh, mm. Nah, I wouldn't do it. I couldn't purposely get struck by lightning. <laughs> purposely no nah. as if that were i mean in some ways it's possible i guess yeah, but just walk outside with a metal rod i guess yeah that sounds like stupid yeah. obviously but 
if you're just walking down the street and you got struck by lightning. That'd be tragic. That'd be so intense, dude. Yeah. Assu- well, you'd probably live. A, a lot, lot of, of people, a lot of people do, don't they? Yeah. We got struck by lightning. They got a really cool lightning like scar though. Yeah. Going down their body. Yeah, that would be one thing that'd be kind of cool. Yeah. It's like, bro, what? It's like, yeah, this shit hurts though. Don't touch it. <laughs> yeah, actually, it's always fucking hurts. It's, it's, it's no always matter tender. what. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool though, but it hurts. <laughs> Man, but not nah, rain. It's good for good for sleeping. Good for chilling. Yeah. So yeah. is fan noise. Yeah, like the white noise. Yeah. Straight up, just some noise. Mm-hmm. And with that said, we were happy to make some noise this episode. You know, that's what you got to do sometimes. Yeah. You know, you got some shit going on. You're like, hey, you know what? Let me just go ahead and drop something. You know, sometimes you got some shit you got to say. Yeah, you got to get it off your chest. But you want to make sure you're chilling while you're doing it. Yeah. You know? You know? That's a good way to spend your time. Yeah. Is chilling. You know? And that's why we're here today for some chill time. So, from chill time, I've been to Ralph. I'll be easy. Keep chilling.